We're following a developing story in Joliet. A whistleblower arrested today and facing misconduct charges for leaking video of Eric Lurie's January arrest. He died shortly after the encounter with two Joliet police officers. The whistleblower is a sergeant on the Joliet police force. And WGN's Patrick Elwood has been following this for us today. He joins us live tonight with the newest details from Joliet. Patrick. Ray and Micah, good evening. That sergeant is now out on bond, but for some you're about to hear from, they consider him to be a hero, a profile in courage. Others, including his boss, consider him to be nothing more than a criminal. I think the worst message that's being sent out here today to the frontline officers is if you happen to see somebody being brutalized, some policeman acting improperly in some form of misconduct, you better keep your mouth shut because if you say something, you're com we're coming at you with a felony. New tonight, attorney and former Will County State's Attorney Jeffrey Tomzak. Uh, he's strong. He's defending himself. On the arrest and charging of his client, Joliet Police Sergeant Javier Escada. Um, it actually brought tears to my eyes. That was Nicole Lurie earlier today. Nicole is the widow of Eric Lurie, who died while in Joliet police custody in January. Police officials say they believed Eric Lurie swallowed a bag of drugs, which led to his death, which was confirmed later by the Will County coroner. But it was Sergeant Escada who leaked video of Lurie's arrest and death five months after the incident. He has been stripped of his police powers and on administrative leave since June. In the seven minute video, Lurie was placed in the back of the squad following a narcotics investigation, during which it appears he starts chewing something. Officers try to get him out of the car. When he's unable to, an officer slaps him and yells a profanity at him. Police then proceed to pinch his nose shut, telling him repeatedly to open his mouth. Then officers use a baton to try to fish something out of his mouth. Lurie collapses and dies soon after. Escada was booked into the Kendall County Jail today, facing two felony counts of official misconduct. In the criminal complaint, it says, quote, Javier Escada committed the offense of official misconduct in that he used the laptop in his Joliet Police Department squad car while not on duty to access video file, which was locked. Escada lives in Kendall County, where the crimes allegedly occurred. Today, he's being held for doing what family and friends says was the right thing to do. Otherwise, none of Lurie's arrest and aftermath would have come to light, they believe. Joliet police <sighs> arrest a hero. And his attorney says Escada was the field training officer for the cops involved. So he had a responsibility to view the video, and in time, he says his client will be vindicated. We'll be winning this case at the end, and I think this case is going to end with a big, fat federal judgment against the city of Joliet and everybody involved in this case. The Joliet Police Chief issued a statement this evening. It reads in part, quote, Sergeant Escada's conduct violates not only the law, more importantly, it threatens the trust and confidence we strive for daily in our service to the citizens of Joliet, unquote. The investigation into the two officers involved in Eric Lurie's arrest is ongoing. Sergeant Escada will be in co court November 9th. Reporting from Joliet, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. All right, Patrick, thank you.